Hi everyone and welcome back to the channel. So I made it back home on Wednesday night. Uh, nice to get back to relatively cool compared to over in Qatar. But uh, here in Cyprus it's uh, nice and toasty. Although I got back and Wednesday night was cloudy and last night was you know high level cloud and the humidity was up so the sky was pretty washed out even though there was uh, no moon until later on. So I haven't done any imaging yet. I have just been uh, chilling out, shall we say. So today I thought we'd take a look at the Starlink, which has eventually arrived here in Cyprus. So the box is here. I haven't opened anything up yet, so I've no idea what's inside. And uh, I placed the order back in February, or the pre-order, with the deposit back in February 2021. So it was announced it was uh, here in the country about three, four weeks ago and I got the notification through from Starlink, placed the order and it got delivered a couple of weeks ago. So now that it's here, I'm going to get it open, get it set up and do some tests on it. I've got no idea how I'm going to integrate it into my existing networks. Uh, the internet here in the villa uh, comes in through a wireless internet service provider, so there's a dish on the, the property. Uh, the internet can be a bit temperamental and I've said that before in some of the other videos and this has really led to issues when live streaming, downloading content, all that sorts of things. But uh, I thought I'll give Starlink a try and we'll maybe integrate it into the network somehow. Whether I use it for the primary download for Netflix and things like that, I've got no idea. But the first thing is, let's get it open, let's get it set up temporarily and do a test. All right, so let's get this open and see what's in here. So, inside the box, some cardboard, no wires or anything there. The antenna base, some more packing, and here is the dish. No marks, bumps, scratches or anything like that. Everything's looking good. And basically a setup card. Here is the router, which has power cable and some form of USB, I think. Can't quite see. It doesn't look like a USB-C. It's obviously for the antenna and the power brick with the correct plug for here in Cyprus. Standard UK plug. A couple of Starlink stickers. And some regularity notices and nothing else. That is absolutely it. So for the initial testing, I'm just going to set the dish up here at the end of the observatory decking and uh, the sky is relatively clear and unfree obstruction and we'll just see what it does. So the cable, I'm just going to shove that through the ring of the dome in the moment uh, just to get it inside. So let me do that. Let's head inside now. Alright, so here we are inside the observatory. Here's the cable I've just stuffed through the side of the, the ring for the dome. And here is the router. And first thing is obviously I'm going to plug in the dish onto the router. And then plug in the power cable. And that is that set up. And next, I just need some power, so I'll take a socket off down here. And 
And that is it. I've got white light on the bottom. And there's no other indication that it's doing anything. So on the Starlink app, which was installed on my phone, and it sounds like the dish is moving by the sounds of things. Okay, so here we are in the Starlink app, and I just press Start Setup, and it says select my Starlink. So it's which dish does it look like? I think it's that one. It's plugged in. And it says join your Starlink Wi-Fi network. So I need to change my phone settings to join Starlink. And it's connecting. And it says create network. So let's give it a name. It's called I'll go Starlink, set the password, and now I need to join the network, the Starlink, with the new settings. And that's it connecting to the router, and it says it's connected. Now if we go back to the Starlink app, it says Starlink connected, so let's continue. It says there's an update available, so we'll grab that update. It tells me to connect to Starlink again, and it's popped up there. Connecting. It's connected. Let's go back to the Starlink app. And it says now calibrating connection, your Starlink just powered on, network performance should stabilize after about 15 minutes. So if I go into this network statistics, it's giving us some basic information, download speed, upload speed, although there's no traffic on the network. So if I do a speed test, to use my application so I'm getting 133 megabits download and 12 megabits upload So I just did another speed test there and this time it's 190 megabits down and 10 megabits up. So we'll leave it to do its thing for a bit and we'll check on it later. Alright so you join me back, it's been a few hours and the Starlink system has done another couple of updates and it's also done its obstruction analysis and it seems to be working all good. So if we go on to the obstructions tab you can see quite a clear view of what the Starlink can see. Uh, blue is clear skies and there's a couple of red dots which I'm not really sure where they are, it's maybe some of the bushes that are overhanging at the back, but what I did do this afternoon is there was a, the, the closest uh, oleander bush to the dish, I trimmed back some of the leaves on that and uh, opened up the front of the dish which is to the north and that might improve the situation if it does it again. But if we go across to speed tests now And this is the standard speed test it's running and we're getting a download speed of 168 megabits 
and an upload speed of 17, 18 it stopped at with an 81 millisecond latency so if we run an advanced speed test just to see what the difference is there the first thing it does is it does a Starlink to the router test and then it does from my device the phone to the router so it's running the Starlink test now and again we're seeing it up towards 170, 180 190, 200, 220 and it's topped out there at 226 megabits download uh, yeah download and the upload test is just finishing at 32 megabits per second so not bad at all and then my device to the router which isn't really an issue seeing as I'm only a foot away from it but we're getting a uh, with my this is the OnePlus 10 Pro. I'm getting 626 megabits to the router. Uh, download and upload speed is 365 megabits upload from the phone to the router. So all good there. So the other test I want to do is uh, go to Netflix's speed tester which is at fast.com and just see what it tells me. So here it's giving me a 160 megabits per second so if I do a show more info and get the upload speed and it's giving me 29 megabits per second so that is to the test servers in Frankfurt in Germany and Warsaw in Poland so the, according to Netflix the latency is 78 unloaded and 76 milliseconds loaded at 160 megabits per second download and 29 megabits upload so I'm quite happy with that. So the other thing obviously is the standard router is Wi-Fi only uh, so there's no Ethernet port to connect to so what I have actually done is I've ordered the Ethernet adapter for it which goes in between the router and the dish and then I'll have a look in a future video at how I'm going to integrate it into the rest of my network uh, because obviously I've got my existing internet service provider uh, that's providing uh, into my Amplify HD system which then my other router which is in my office connects down to the observatory and has got the uh, router here on the, the table here so I might do some either load balancing I don't know if that's possible with this arrangement or I will segment the networks off depending on what I'm doing and then I might use, for example, the Starlink for doing upload when I'm live streaming in the observatory or whatever. So we'll wait to do that in a future update. So just before we knock off, I'll take you outside and we'll have a quick look of where the dish is sitting, uh, where it's pointing and what I've got uh, obstruction wise. Alright, so here we are, the dish at its test location and I've just got all the cables and everything bundled up there. I'll need to just once I decide what I'm going to actually do with the system. But here we can see the disc pointing north so that's a way up uh, towards the north there. And here's the oleander bush that I cut back just to make sure it wasn't obstructing. Uh, the bush was significantly higher maybe up around uh, sort of this level. So I've cut it back down and I don't exactly know what sort of field of view the dish is using. So whether this one over here uh, that it was significantly higher than the one that I've chopped down uh, whether that edges may have an impact on it or not but uh, going look at the clear view on the Starlink app I don't think it will be any much of a problem so we'll just give it time because I don't think this will be the final location for the dish anyway alright so one last thing we'll do is I'll pop into the house and I'll go to the is the dog being daft? Coral? Sit. 
Uh, and here's the other one coming to investigate. Hello, McGee. Yeah, so anyway, we'll head into the house and I'll do a speed test on my existing internet connection and uh, just see what it's doing today. It can be really variable. So uh, yeah, let's go inside. All right, so here we are inside the house and this is my Amplify HD main uh, Wi-Fi router. And I've actually got a wired connection uh, that goes all the way up to my office for uh, the router in my office, uh, which then wirelessly connects over that bridge link back to the observatory. Uh, the dish, the internet service provider dish, up in the balcony, it comes into a power over ethernet injector, which sits this down here to get power, and then it comes through this uh, service provider uh, router, and then I just take a connection off it into my router. So too many routers involved in things, and I really need to uh, try and optimize it, particularly this, this cheap uh, router here. Uh, it tends to need a reboot now and again, but uh, anyway. So if we go on to my phone and I'll pull up the Amplify HD uh, application and we go into the health and I go into traffic we can see that my last speed test I did on this this morning uh, came in at 60 megabits down, uh, megabits down and 29.8 megabits up and that was at uh, 11 o'clock this morning. And the test I did yesterday afternoon, uh, it was 21.1 megabits down and 11.13 megabits up. So you can see the variance there. So here we are in the afternoon, it's uh, 20 past six in the evening. Uh, so if I just run another speed test now, and uh, we'll, yeah, we'll see what it does. All right, so that gave me a 59.3 megabits down and a 30.3 megabits up which is bang on the money for my service contract. So that is all good. And that came in at a latency of 11 milliseconds back to whatever server this is using for its test. I've got no idea where in the world that is. All right, so that sums it up for this time. Uh, as I say, I've got the Ethernet adapter on order. I don't know how long that'll take to come. And then we can set up a test on the live streaming and potentially see how the observatory is now on the live stream to YouTube. And we'll do that in a future video and maybe see how else I can tie in all the things in together if that is going to be the final location. All right, so anyway, thanks for watching. We'll catch you again in the next one. Clear skies, everyone. Looks like the skies have cleared here, so you never know, I might get something done tonight. So take care, and we'll speak to you later. Thanks for watching.